What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men of Tech. So I've been using macOS Pixel 11.0.1 for this number of days and so far I should say that my experience with it has been sort of interesting to say the least. Let me show you what I mean. We begin this segment by looking at some additional new features and changes that I managed to see with this update during the three days that I used it. And this is in addition to those that I found in my initial video. If you wanna see my initial video, I'll leave it somewhere on top here and you can click on it and see what was found initially with this update. Now, the first new thing that I managed to find after some time is that there's actually now a full installer for macOS Pixel 11.0.1 beta 1. So what this means is that if you run the installer for macOS Pixel, you won't be given beta 6, which was the last update that had a full installer. You'll be given 11.0.1. If you think Think that macOS Pixel is slowly transitioning to look more like iPad OS or iOS 14. This update actually, you know, proves that point even more. If you go to the wallpaper section, you notice that most of the new wallpapers that came out with iOS 14.2 have now been implemented in macOS Pixel 11.0.1. iPad OS, iOS, and macOS, something like that. Now, the next new thing that came with this update, it's actually interesting, and it's that macOS Pixel 11.0.1 actually includes references to three distinctive unreleased Macs. Now, at this time, it's not yet 100% certain which Macs or which models these are, but according to Mind5 Mac and to those that do read code, it's anticipated that some of these codes that we see here could possibly be referencing to a new 16 inch macbook pro it's same thing happened last year and we got a new 16 inch macbook pro in the catalina code that was leaked so something like that could also be coming for apple silicon max as soon as november 17th so a new 13 inch macbook pro or macbook air could be on the way you know running silicon and a new 27 inch iMac Pro. So at this time, it's not yet, you know, 100% certain which models these are. It could be three different models or it could be three different reference code referencing one product. So we don't know, time will tell, but as you can tell from what, you know, most sources at this time are trying to tell, it seems like Apple is trying to go for power and optimization. I'm just curious to see how, how these devices are going to look and operate with Apple Silicon. Back on track with what has changed, some users are reporting that the startup chime has actually changed for their models. Now for me on my 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro, I actually didn't see a change here. The chime that's there is still the same, but if you do put this on, you would wanna check and see if perhaps that chime changed for you as it's affecting different models at this time. Now, when it comes to some bugs or known issues that are still existing with this update, for me personally, the first bug that I experienced has to do with Final Cut Pro. So when I exported my video after, you know, editing, I noticed that after updating, when I went back to my Final Cut Pro, it lost my media content and my project, but that's was just like a once-off thing. It only happened once. And then I tried again, you know, just doing a demo project to see how it would work. And I'm happy to say that it's no longer crashing. So it was just a once-off thing where it lost everything, but now it's been fixed. Also, Auto Unlock is unsupported for the developer transition with this update and also formatting a card using the APFS encrypted service isn't supported with this update. So take note of that. Unlocking your Mac with the Apple Watch, it's like a hidden miss. Sometimes the function won't allow you to turn it on. And sometimes there's a miscommunication between the Mac and the watch. So it's dropping connection when it comes to uh, that function. And also for certain Bluetooth devices, connection is dropping. So just keep that in mind. Also for certain regions, quite a number of people are reporting that the calendar app is displaying a date that is different from that which is current. So that could be a bug that's affecting your area 
area and you would want to look into this if you are updating from beta 2 of mac os 11 or beta 3 of mac os 11 sometimes you might be given a super big file so this is a bug and it's something that's known and also something that's still there for people who are at this time still updating to 11.0.1 .1. there is a bug whereby first of all downloading the update takes long and then preparing the update that's another story now i actually wanted to test out the auto switching feature when it comes to airpods or airpods pro but i couldn't get my hand on those but if you do please let me know in the comment section if that is finally working with this update now let's look at battery performance since most people care about this than anything else so for me on my mac funny thing or funny fact actually before i started making this video i was on a zoom meeting for like two plus hours and you know i had charged my mac i was also using it on battery as you can see here it's unplugged so i've been using it on battery just to test for the last two days and let me just go into my battery usage so that you can see what i have if i go to my system preferences and then go to the battery section you can see that you know if you select the last 10 days you can see my battery usage for the last three days so for example if we go to today i've used like 50 percent and the corresponding number of hours isn't yet shown because you know i'm still using it if i had to estimate i've been using it on battery for like six hours and i have now 39 percent there's a bug that i experience when it comes to battery performance i don't know if it's because of the heavy duty task that i was doing i was editing using final cut pro and iMovie at the same time on this mac and my mac was like on 70 percent and then in a matter of like 10 minutes it dropped you know it skipped in between it didn't even bother dropping to 60 percent so that could be a bug or it could just mean you know perhaps my battery is getting old but i'll keep an eye on it but as you can see this is the battery usage and screen on time that i'm getting when it comes to you know my battery performance on this 11.0.1 just in case if you are curious if you go to the about this mark section just to see you know how my battery condition is so if we select the power section there you can see that my battery has 285 cycle counts and my maximum capacity is 86 percent so basically that's how my battery performance is now when it comes to overall device performance it's actually better than beta 10 it actually rhymes you know it's better than beta 10 so i'm happy when it comes to performance uh, applications are working as they are supposed to besides microsoft word i'm having issues with that but overall performance it's okay and final cut pro i noticed that rendering is faster than before and when you export a project it's a bit slow but i think it was even slower before so i think it's okay when it comes to performance and when i noticed when using native apple applications like the performance has been bumped up comparing to beta 10 which i was on before if you want to see the geekbench scores i did cover that in my previous video and i'll leave it in the description of this video and you can check it out for yourself now if you head over into youtube just to see the community pool i posted you know how has mark 11.0.1 been for you so we had a total of uh, so far it's around 170 volts and still increasing so uh 24 percent said it's great 17 percent said it's okay but a few bugs two percent said it's terrible and 49 percent said they are on catalina or other so half of the people that voted are actually not yet on big Sur. as you can tell people are scared of updating to mac os big Sur beta because not many people i guess have a mac to to risk or a secondary mark to put on beta testing so most of the people are on catalina for safety precaution because it's a beta at the end of the day be it beta 1 beta 10 or 11.0.1 beta 1 it's still a beta at the end of the day right so most people on catalina and then seven percent said they use windows or some other operating system thank you so much for taking part in the community pool and voting it really gives us you know a better view of what you know most people are experiencing when it comes to updates such as these now whether you should update or not at this time 
I still have like a question mark above my head because if you look at the version we got 11.0.1 .1 beta 1 it's 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 complicated so if the final version that apple releases so the official version since apple skipped beta 11 or the gm version the final version that can come out could still potentially be macOS big sur 11.0 now if that final version is 11.0 and you are already on 11.0.1 .1 beta you won't be able to upgrade to that version because you are already on a beta that is ahead, right? So you, this is something that you'd want to keep in mind, whether you want to, you know, go fully out on 11.0.1 .1 beta or wait and not update to this 11.0.1 .1 so that when the final version, if possibly it's 11.0, you will be able to upgrade to it. So that's more of like a personal choice, but 11.0.1 .1 beta 1, you've seen my experience so far, not, nothing major, no, no bug that is going to break your device. So I'll, I'll leave it up to you and to each his own. Now, when it comes to when we could see perhaps the next macOS update, if we open our calendar app here, you can see that today is the 31st of October. Now, macOS Pixel was released during this week, of course, but since beta 6 it's been like on two week release cycles and if you count two weeks from now that takes you you know through the week of the 8th to the 14th and we know that you know rumors at this time seems to suggest that apple is going to send out invitations for their apple silicon event on the 10th of november and if you recall what happened with the iphone 12 event when apple sent out invitations for the iphone 12 event there was no update during that whole week. Apple sort of wanted to gather hype for the iPhone 12 event and they didn't want to release anything that is going to take, you know, people's mind off of the iPhone 12 event. So the same could be true when it comes to the Apple Silicon event. If the invitations are sent on the 10th of November, then possibly during that week, there might not be a macOS Pixel update, but you never know things could change, you know, they might not decide to follow what they did before, things can change. So we, we could see an update as early as next week or as late as just after the event. So that's about it for me when it comes to a small actually not so small because it turned out to be so detailed this is just a follow-up video on marquis pixel 11.0.1 .1 beta hope you like this video if you did drop a like and hit subscribe down below stick around because we got a lot of uh, apple silicon content and marquis content coming your way and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace